this video is intended to uh, have uh, um, fits as the mentioning. When I prepared it, I came across another problem, half dimension. So we'll see the, that, and I'll show you how to dimension chamfers. Uh, then we go. I include the drafting in this part by using application drafting, and I select this style. And then I'll dismiss this because I have to old school. I have to want to have the control because I did not draw my part in the correct access system, and so that the front view is the view that I want here. Oh, sorry. Press here and a function key eight. Then it's perpendicular to the screen. And probably we increase the size a little bit. And we, that's ready. Then you can get alternate of uh, the perpendicular views. I don't need that. What I want is a detail view. This detail view. Detail view. Come zoom in. Take point. Drag. So. You have to have some cylindrical or center line within because you need that for the half dimensions. Mm, okay, maybe a little lower. Okay, close. That's ready. Um, maybe a little bit longer. Okay, okay, dimensioning. Um, Let's, start, let's first start with the fits. If you look at, uh, there's a groove for a um, circlip. And if you look at manufacturer's uh, specification, then you'll see that uh, the circlip has some uh, specification depending for the fits it should be dim dimensioned with. So we can first select this, this point and this point, and then you have to wait then that this appears, and then you go to H7. Then you define this is indeed in the hole, and this should be H13. Uh, yes, and that's okay. And you close it. Well, now you, cl you click here and then you drag it in the correct position. Um, then we do the another easy dimension. That's the chamfer. Chamfer. And yeah, you can drag it. Let me see. Um, probably we'll have it this way. And then we do a dimension from here to here. And we will give this um, a tolerance that seems to be OK. Drag it. OK. Um, let's close. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the, the easy one. We do the half dimension of this diameter. So the trick is to select first this line, and then there, and then, oh, that's wrong. Uh, cylindrical, yes. Then you get this value. I don't give the torrents uh, later on. State and an, an default tolerances for which are not defined here. But now we have to get rid of this arrow. That is a little bit tricky. So we go to settings, arrowhead. This is deselected. And let me see then. 
do you delete oh, this I selected this time the correct one so you see they removed it close so that's nice uh, now the same for this but this should be a fit this should be a shaft fit with the IT class 12 and then we select first the center line and we zoom in a little bit and we wait until the fit comes uh, and we select for the shaft and it was H12. And then we can put it here. And we can go, oh, this is not a selected thing, so we have to. Okay, now it's selected. Now we can go to the settings. The arrow, arrow at deselect. Let me see if we, yeah, we're lucky again. Close. Um, okay, um, now we do another, another simple dimensions. Um, the um, chamfer again. And we'll let me see the or oh, this is um, okay. Then we'll make this. Oh, sorry. Rapid dimension. When you start this default is inferred, so you have to remember that that you have to select cylindrical. Otherwise, you get not the diameter symbol. And okay, this is correct. And we drag it outside. So we almost finished, except. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, help. And then the window should come up oh yeah, here, and then you type in, oh, yeah, in minus medium, then you define the standard. I saw you have you, you could have better select that value and add it and after it. So uh, and I hope this works. Okay, this does not work. Maybe we'll we do it this way. Nope. Maybe when we saved it, it uh, would have done. So also now it's okay. So let me see. We did the fits. Find up your supplier info. The chamfers, the diameters, diameters without or without the thing. I want the uh, this one I want because now I want to put it at once on that. So um, you can hide this. You can hide this with uh, view or not. Show and hide. And then it's gone. I always use shortcut Control W. Okay, this finishes the demo of dimensioning.